Yo, what up with it? This PRG Lero, and I'm an artist out of Glen Ellen, Mississippi by Stan Greenville. You are not tuned in with the debut. Let's get it. I'm just trying to get rich if you say I ain't shit, get the fuck on right now. Call me some work, come believe I'm a trainer. Big boss in this bitch, I been making shit happen. Went to the A, had the link up with my. Originally, I've been working on a project called Progress and Profit 2. But I think I'm going to put a hole on it and uh, work on this little EP called uh, Valero, like based off the gas station. But I'm going to take the E out, put the A, double R, O, and know, yeah, yeah. What, uh, what got you started making music? Um, really, I ain't even go, yeah, myself, honestly. But, like, I always been a fan of music, so... Like hearing other artists like they were big in the game to really persuade me to go on here and be like, okay, you can do this shit, you know. As long as, you know, put in the effort. So was it a, was it a certain moment or you just decided? Was it like a... Uh, me really wasn't no certain moment. It just, one day, okay. it just happened. I was like, fuck it. Just picked this shit up, ran with it, you what, know. What was the first song you ever made? The first song I ever made was... This shit so crazy. The first song I ever made was a diss song. Okay. And shout out to my partner, Nine Cool, we cool. Yeah. Uh, but yo, it really did song, but now, man, bro, we, we locked in. Like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. like, crazy. How you feel about it, though, uh, looking back on it? How I feel about it now, looking back on it, shit was crazy, because I had a homeboy who but beefing with everybody. I ain't had no enemies until I started running with dude. So, <laughs> see, I, now looking back at this shit, this shit crazy. Yo, this shit crazy. Like, dude would beef with everybody. Like, we were the only motherfuckers at Green High, like, in tour with the basketball team. Like, Nobody that shit. Nobody else. Never been in tour with the basketball team, bro. But, but, but us. <laughs> that shit crazy. What I learned by making my first song is that you can do any fucking thing you want to do. As yeah. long as you put your mind to it. You feel like you can do this, you can do that. You got to think of it to exist. So when you were a kid, what, did you ever like write raps or shit like that? Um, not really. I really ain't start writing until I hit like a certain age, probably like, honestly, about 14, 15, somewhere up in there. What type of music you um, shit, coming up, I ain't even go yell to you. Coming up, I really just used to listen to whatever I heard my uncles and all them listen to and shit like that. But as I grew and got up on music myself, I started listening to shit, Juvenile, Lil Wayne, Hot Boy, Goddamn, okay. folk like them and shit. What's most appealing to me in a song? Uh, the topic on um, how you want to come, how you want to deliver, and what you want the song to be based on, shit like that. So, what type of music do you make? You make like drill music or like? Like, nah, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I don't really just been to all that. Want to hop out and kill a nigga? Whoop the whoop. Yeah. I just fuck with music. Period. Like, I be on. I can be on lyrical shit at times. It okay. depends on what type of mode I'm in. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, did you, have you ever performed before? Uh, yeah, like, couple months back into last year, I was in the hood idol tour shit. Okay. Did a little show and show. Did one in Memphis, then I had one in Atlanta. Shit, I ain't just go with playing, so. so how, you you got, how, how you feel about your first performance? My first performance? I was skeptical like a motherfucker, because I'm somewhere, these folks don't know me. Yeah. They just know, oh, this another nigga that rap yeah. type shit. So, shit, it was all right. It was all right. You got, you got good feedback from that? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Uh, some motherfucker from Shaw reached out, want to do some. Uh, motherfucker from Mountain Bayou. Uh, a couple motherfuckers from Memphis. I don't even know they name, but... They got, they buzzing, they buzzing, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What things yeah. um, you think an engineer can do to make an artist's job easy? What things um, uh, mm, I don't know, like, a nigga can just 
get in the booth one day and just fuck out and make a song he probably think won't pop, but at the same time, this the song that the engineer might think can go somewhere. Probably like, they say he bullshitting on Turk song or some shit. He fucking out this shit hot, this shit go. Like a theme song, theme song. I prefer, I say a club, like a club, a crunk song type shit. They get everybody, you know, get the crowd attention and shit, get everybody going and shit like that. What do you think um, separates you from other artists? I don't really be on motherfucking dick. You feel me? Like, what separate, what separate me from other artists is I'm trying to stand out and be a trend I ain't trying to follow the trend. I'm trying to be an outcast, renegade in this shit. Like, I don't too much rap by killing. I me per me me personally, I feel like you you gotta you gotta go through some shit in order to rap about some yeah. shit. Cause you just can't be out here rapping and I then mean, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this shit fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that shit do crazy. What did your um, lowest moment teach? You? What did your lowest moment teach you? What don't break a nigga, make a nigga. Like, it's all about trial and tribulation, just because you ain't, you ain't make it at this point, that don't mean you got to, you feel me, like, all oh, fuck that type yeah. shit. Like, you get back up, try and right, try again, keep going. Determination. What aspects do you think um, my artist needs to attract the light? I say hard work and dedication. I say hard work and dedication because a motherfucker see you trying, a motherfucker see you, see you putting your all into this shit. Like, damn, that man, that for real. Like, damn, he, he got himself some type shit. Like, that, that how I can go about that right there. So what are some artists, some famous artists that you want to uh, collab with in the future? Uh, Big time or like local? Big time. Big time. Big time. I always say Red Hummer. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> I always say Red Hummer. I fuck a dude like when dude like his flow. Yeah, his style, like he and nigga I always had a unique style, yeah. like his shit stood out from everybody else type shit. Yeah, I, the area. Hell yeah, yeah, the area back then, dude cold. I still fuck with dude though. Okay, what about uh locally? Locally. Uh I always say that you want to fuck with Damo on some shit. Yeah. Uh, like, man, Boo Young, we did shit back in the gap. Like, back when they were Purple City and I had the niggas out running with, we was scud gang type shit. Like, see, I still fuck with Boo on some shit. But, like, honestly, I'm just focused on, like, bro talk. Bro talk, like... Yeah, bro, tough. I work with him on some shit. Like, honestly, I'm just, you know, like, you know how it be, like, motherfucking know you rap type shit, but, like, they ain't just gonna reach out to you and fuck with you because they scared of what another motherfucker gonna say. Like, it be, it always be like that, but I'm just focusing on, you know, me. Like, I ain't trying to merge, you know, by the line. No, not right now. So, but if push come to shove, somebody want to work, they for real, and we can make it happen. We can lock in. How many uh, music videos have you done so far? So far, I ain't gonna lie with you, bro. I went to Atlanta for my birthday weekend, like some months back, and to last year around about September. Uh -huh. So shit, I was some shit like that. So I been rapping. I remember I was sitting in the car with my home, but Pee Wee walked up, right. told him, bro, shit, when I get back to the Ville, I'm finna get back in the rap shit, man, see how this shit go go. But since then, I dropped. Shit, ATP, Prayers and Crosses. I just dropped the live performance of Big Laro, and I just shot the video to the song Watching Me. Oh, it's a few right there. What type of videos do you prefer to shoot? Like, do you prefer uh, running gun style or like storyboard type videos? A little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both. Like I say, it all depends on what type of mood, you know. A person be in how they feeling, you know, shit like that. What are two um, strengths that you think you have musically? Uh, oh. I say, 
<laughs> I say one dude, like. Yo, dick, and like meditate. Meditate, like when I do music or whatever song track I'm getting ready to do, I focus on like I'm locked in, like I'm meditate. So shit, dick. So how exactly do you get in your zone? Is it like do you have to smoke, drink, or is it just like natural? Mm, not really. I don't necessarily got to smoke a drink. Like I would flip if I hear the beat. Uh-huh. I already know how I want to come on. it. So I'm expecting to deliver this certain way. How I'm thinking it, yeah, yeah, in my head, or whatever. How you promote yourself? How do you go about promoting yourself? Like right now, I just be doing a little, paying for a little promotion here and there on Instagram, or whatever. Or that's about it for right now. But I be promoting shit on Facebook. You know, any chance I get, I put it on on some snap, yeah. Facebook What's story, shit like uh, that. Facebook or Instagram. Mm. Yeah, I'm say Instagram. I'm I'm say Instagram, but my shit, my new Instagram, whack, man. Yeah, no folk, hey, yeah, do what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build my shit back up, my lap, huh? What's that? I oh, appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, that bit whack though, man. My leg answer that bit will turn. That bit will live, bro. What happened to your legs, man? I think a motherfucker put some fuck shit. Like, at the one day, I know I ain't crazy, bro. I paid for some promotion from somebody on that bitch. <laughs> and I swear to God, I'm on that bitch. I'm like, damn, I can't get back in the shit and shit. Man, I think a motherfucker that took when, when I pay, Yeah, when I paid for that little promotion, I think a motherfucker got in my shit, took my shit, man. I had to make a whole note of them, so I'm trying to build that bit back up. Yeah, yeah. Trying to build a bit back up. What's the most memorable moment your music has given you? Memorable moment? See, I ain't gonna lie. My most memorable moment when back then I wasn't taking the shit serious, niggas just was just bullshit. And they, I don't know, they laid them up, believed in a motherfucker or some shit. Uh, I forgot her name, but she used to work. At a hair store, I forgot the nigga who she used to fuck with. But anyway, they was some type of big old though. We was just bullshit motherfucker. Got us in, had our very, very, very first show in Leland, and the shit crazy. It was with against them on them. Bad with they were PTE. So shit, I'm like, then I'm like, yeah, motherfucking go somewhere with this shit. So that shit stuck with me. Like, this shit was straight. By it being the first show, a motherfucker who believed in you ain't believe in yourself. Yeah. That's how you shit. So who is Lero outside of uh, music? Man, I'm a father figure, bro. I got two daughters. Older finna be 10, youngest finna be 7. Um, shit, I don't club. Uh, yeah, like, hardly. It, it, it probably on a special occasion. Like, okay. if a motherfucker doing something I want to attend, I, I might fuck with it. Like, like, other than that, I'm a father figure. I just lay low, play slow, mind the business, they pay me. I don't be in no shit. I don't worry about nobody, none of that type of shit. What, uh, what keeps you motivated uh, to do music? Uh, to see motherfuckers like Wayne been in the game so many amount of years yeah. and still pursuing this shit. And and I'm like, this shit ain't got no age on you, feel me? Nigga Lil Duval about 42. Nigga ain't get a record deal, honestly, till he came out with Smile. And look how long he been in the industry. You feel me? So what advice would you give uh, any upcoming artists? Man, stay focused. Strive for greatness. Don't never let a motherfucker tell you you can't be this, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's a mind thing. It's all about how you represent yourself. You know, just keep pushing. Shit might not happen when you want it to be, but in the long run, hard work, dedication, that shit pay off. Like, keep going. Do anything, you put your mind to it. So, is there any, are there any artists currently that you uh, look up to outside of uh, Lil Wayne? Like, are there anybody locally? Locally. Like, not so much. Like, not really. Not really. You feel me? Like, it's uh, ain't like, Everybody the same, the same motherfucker on the same rep flow, talk about the same shit. 
You feel me? Like sometimes this shit get old. Motherfucker don't be want to hear about you hopping out on the motherfucker, yeah. killing the motherfucker all the time. Oh shit. Uh, you want to tell people that you find you? Man, you can find me on Instagram, P-R-G underscore Lero. See, you can find me on Snapchat, Big Play Runner, B-I-W-G underscore Play Runner, P-L-A-Y-R-U-N-N-A. Facebook, Lero Barnum. See, TikTok, P-R-G underscore Lero. See, I ain't got no Twitter. But see, but yo, you can go fuck with my music on our platform. Everything got right now. New shit on the way. Video. Everything. Alright, what over here to the PRG Lero and shit. You're not rocking with the debut. You did.